want to turn to the uh, protecting our border. White House officials are confirming that President Trump is considering, quote, a substantial mobilization of the National Guard to secure the U.S.-Mexico border until the wall is built. This comes after the president stepped up the pressure on Mexico yesterday to stop the flow of illegals into the U.S. by throwing NAFTA into the mix. Watch. Until we can have a wall and proper security, we're going to be guarding our border with the military. That's a big step. We really haven't done that before, or certainly not very much before. But we will be doing things with Mexico, and they have to do it. Otherwise, I'm not going to do the NAFTA deal. Meanwhile, Mexico claims it will disband the caravan carrying more than 1,000 asylum seekers from Central America. Joining me right now is former U.S. Ambassador to the U.S., the U.N., Honduras, Mexico, and the Philippines, former Deputy Secretary of State and former National Intelligence Director under Bush 43, John Negroponte. Ambassador, thanks very much for weighing in this morning. morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Let's talk about all of the developments this morning. First, your thoughts on the president using NAFTA as a negotiating tool to get Mexico to weigh in and do something on border security. Well, look, the, uh, the arrivals from Mexico across the border have gone down substantially over the last couple of years. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, more needs to be done to stop the illegal flow. I think uh, particularly coming up from Central America. But, but, but Mexico can be a partner in this. We can work with them, and we have in the past, and I think we should in the future, to help stem uh, the border crossings down on the southern uh, border uh, of the country of Mexico itself. As far as using the military is concerned, well, this won't be the first time that that's been done. They're National Guardsmen, but they usually are in a support role. And this essentially is not a military problem. It's a law enforcement problem. And I think that's got to be the focus. We have increased the size of our border patrol and our, uh, uh, those uh, people in Homeland Security uh, substantially over in recent years. And I think that's where the focus needs to be. So do you expect Mexico to do something about this? I mean, they're claiming that they will help disband this caravan, for example. Plus, you've got elections in Mexico, what, in the next month and a half. Are we going to see a deal on NAFTA before those elections? Well, uh, it's hard. Uh, they've been certainly been talking a lot, but there are some un unresolved issues. What I think you might see is some kind of an agreement in principle that would then at least uh, trigger uh, the process uh, before we submit the agreement, uh, the full agreement to Congress. And I think that in order to be able to get a NAFTA through uh, uh, by the end of this year and under the existing Trade Promotion Authority, I think we've got until uh, sometime in May to announce some kind of an agreement in principle. But, but they're working on it, and I certainly uh, think it's an extremely important agreement, and I think the economic relationship between the United States and Mexico uh, is a very important one, and I think uh, contributes greatly to North American competitiveness. Well, the relationship the U.S. has in terms of trade with many of our friends this morning in question, Beijing overnight, uh, as you know, retaliated in terms of uh, tariffs on products. 106 U.S. products going to get tariffed, according to Beijing, uh, $50 billion. And you've got stocks like Boeing down 7% right now. You've got airplanes, soybeans, cars, all on the agenda here for tariffs. Your thoughts? Uh, is this that, a trade war? A, that's a big deal. When you, when you hear the words airplanes and soybeans, you know you're talking about some of the critical exports of the United States to China. I think uh, I heard uh, the previous speaker, and uh, uh, who's still uh, encouraged by the performance of the market and so forth, and, and I agree that, uh, you know, we're not yet in a real danger zone. But before uh, the situation develops uh, into something even worse, I'd like to see some photographs of uh, top U.S. economic officials, the Secretary of Treasury, the Secretary of Commerce, meeting with their Chinese counterparts to discuss some of these issue, issues. I think that might help uh, restore some confidence in a relationship which, after all, is extremely important. We have $500 billion worth of trade a year. With China, they hold uh, a trillion or more of our uh, U.S. treasuries and so forth. This is uh, uh, too big uh, uh, an economic relationship to uh, endanger like that. So it sounds like you are not worried yet about a trade war. I mean, obviously, markets are having their own message this morning and this week, selling off on these retaliations from China. Uh, you just want to see that progress is being made. Well, I'm yeah, but I'm, I'm a little more than... Uh, 
not worried. I'm, I, I'm concerned because sometimes these things can move in unpredictable uh, directions. So before uh, things do get worse, I think some steps need to be taken. Ambassador, thank you very much. Good to see you, sir. Ambassador yeah, thank you. Negroponte there.